uh, in chronic inflammation within the temporal joint, getting into the middle ear through the petrotympanic fissure, a actual fissure, which allows inflammatory fluids and exudates to get from the temporal joint glenoid fossa through the petrotympanic fissure into the middle ear, which then will cause tinnitus, subjective hearing loss, and vertigo. And of course, chronic inflammation within the temporal joint will stimulate the external auditory canal because of the paper thin, paper thin wall between the glenoid fossa of the temporal joint and the external auditory canal. And the patients will say, I have ear pain. And the ENT doctor or our convenient care clinic nurse practitioner will look in there and they go, no, you you do not have an ear infection. Uh, your tympanic membrane looks normal. I don't even see any inflammation in there at all where the inflammation doesn't come from the outside of the external artery canal. It's coming from the inside of the external artery canal through that paper thin wall between the, ex between the glenoid fossa and the external artery canal. 